Joseph Kuria Irunguta Chitri is due in court this morning to be sentenced for the murder of businesswoman Monica Nyawira Kimani. Irungu was due to be sentenced last week, but his lawyers asked High Court uh, Judge Grace Nzioka to grant him more time to file his responses to pre-sentence report and to prosecution's submission. In a submission, Assistant Director of Public Prosecution DPP Gikui Gishuhi urged the court to, to sentence Irungu to death, saying the prosecution had shown that he planned the murder. That was no provocation from Monica and that he also tried to conceal the crime. Ms. Gishuhi urged the court to find that there was aggravating circumstances for Irungu to be sentenced to death and the court must impose the death sentence in respect to capital offenses in accordance with the law. It is thus our humble submission that the death penalty is lawful in the Republic of Kenya, and in the matter before your ladyship had met all the requirements to warrant the death sentence. She said, the 28-year-old old business, uh, the, the eldest daughter of Paul Kimani Garama, was killed at a Lamuria Garden apartment on the night of September 19, 2018, shortly after arriving from Juba in Sudan. She was due to travel to Dubai the following morning, but her lifeless body was found lying in a bathtub with her throat slit from here to here. Her hand and legs had been bound with a cable ties. In the presentizing report, Irungu's parents Julius Irungu Mwangi and Anastasia Thama described their 33-year-old son an outgoing, respectful and committed Christian. Born on November 20, 1990 in Nakuru as the certified private security guard crew up in Mwariki area. After completing his secondary education, Irungu joined Kenya Polytechnic to study for a diploma in food production which he completed in 2011. He later moved to Dubai where he worked for a security company after receiving tactical military training from the Dubai Police Academy and Ogara Group, a security company. Monica, who held a diploma in international relations, was the managing director of the family business known as Millie Paul, a general trading company in Juba for seven years. In a ruling, Justice uh, Zioka said that although the conviction was based on circumstantial evidence, the prosecution had met there the trends old of proving that Irungu committed the murder. The judge found that Irungu stole the identity card of Dominic Bissera. Haron, a security guard at the estate where he was staying, armed himself with a gun, carried a bag containing a white council and changed his clothes before going to Monica's house. According to the judge, Irungu stole the identity card to distinguish himself and gain access to the apartment. After the murder, he destroyed the evidence by burning the clothes and he was wearing when he committed the crime. It is the finding of the court that there are four facts taken uh, cumulatively constitute adequate strands which lead to a strong conclusion that the first accused person is guilty of the offense of murder, Justin Zioka said. This is uh, happening just a few weeks after the presiding judge justice and pro uh, postponed the judgment of Joey Irungu. After the two sides of the Office of the Directorate of Public Prosecution and the complainant failed to submit their reports in time, there was heightened security within uh, because premises when they mean accessment was escorted uh, to the courtroom by the officer by from the Directorate of Criminal Investigation who have been safeguarding him since the uh, declaration by the judge. He was found guilty a few weeks ago and is expected to know his fate today as the presiding judge is keen on assuring that just prevails to the family of the late businesswoman. The report indicates that at the time he was arrested, he was providing security in Kenya mostly to persons in political sector, and he was at an advanced stage of registering his own security firm. Outside his training and daily work, the report indicates that he's a staunch Christian. He has sung, produced several uh, music videos, and um, 
he was actively involved in church activities. It is further indicated that when this offense was committed, he was in a relationship with one Jacqueline Maribe, who was his co-accused, and they were planning to formalize their relationship. At the time of the offense, they were both residing at Royal Park Estate in Langata, and they had resided together for over one year. Medical condition, the report indicates that he suffers from asthma since childhood, and that is usually triggered by colds and dust, but is on medication. It is indicated that he has developed now problems, and that arose out of a gun incident, which we spoke to in the judgment and in this matter. But it's said that the same is treated by painkillers, which gives him relief. On the offense, the report says that the accused person maintains his innocence and that he was shocked and depressed to be linked with the murder of the deceased. That he denies knowing the deceased, but acknowledges that he knows his brother. And it says that he grieves for the family of the deceased for losing her in a gruesome manner. The report indicates that he has good relationship with his family. The sister stood by him throughout the trial. They describe him, that is his family, and again this is important, as a social, overly generous, respectful to authority, committed Christian, and he believes in innocence, although he has, he believes in his innocence, although he has painfully accepted the conviction. The family of the accused says that they have been stigmatized. First, a lot of stigmatization and financial drain in form of legal costs. That they are expressing empathy for the family of the deceased and pray that the perpetrators will be found. And finally, they pray for leniency in sentence. From the community point of view, the probation officer interviewed a senior chief of free area location, Dr. Samuel Macharia, who described the accused person as being well-mannered, respectful, and was not a threat to the community. That the community is shocked by the charge that was preferred against him and subsequent conviction. <laughs> that they vote for his good character, social standing, as they have known him to be a respectable youth committed to church activities. Bishop Shadrach Olo of Agape Sanctuary Church says that the accused person is a member of his church. He is steadfast in faith, relates well with fellow Christians, and at the time of his arrest, he was a choir master in the church. He pleaded for leniency. The investigating officer, Mr. Maxwell Otieno, is indicated in the report as having described the accused person as an extremely dangerous person, violent in nature, as demonstrated by the fact that he was involved in an assault case with one Rogers at Club 1824 when he was out on bond in this matter. And that the reason why the case did not go forward is because the complainant withdrew the complaint. And the investigating officer called for the maximum sentence provided for under the law. The community from where the victim hails from in Thika <coughs> described the victim as 
a person who had a promising future, they were shocked at her death, and they called for an astringent sentence. The family of the victim. The family of the victim are reported in the pre-sentence report to have stated that following the demise of the victim, the death occasioned them monumental psychological impact and they are still to cope with the said offense and death. 